Hello, everyone. My name is Miko. I'm the founder and CEO of Zaflow. It's actually quite fun to be on the stage for a change. I used to be where you're sitting for many, many times in Slush and other events. Uh, when I was doing investments in the corporate venture capital and M&A setting. And uh, I was struggling with the pain. How to keep track of all the people I meet, all the opportunities I see, and uh, communicate this with my team and with the target companies where I say no to. <coughs> Zaplor stands for Zapping Deals. By Zap, kill. You guys kill deals most of the time, like I did before. And uh, that's uh, one part of the job. But also you want to energize. Zap stands also for energize. So energize your deal flow so that the lifeblood of yours, the deal flow, brings you more opportunities. <coughs> no, much how matter, no, no matter how much you have money, you'll always have more opportunities than time or money to invest. Zaplow is a productivity platform for professional investment teams in the alternative assets market. We have customers in corporate VC, VC, M&A, family offices. In brief, what we do, uh, we take end-to-end -end, uh, approach to your deal flow, deals, and portfolio management. We face competition in various spots from various places, but if you want to do it end-to-end, -end -to -end, you, you, you probably need to do a custom one or take Zaflow and pay only 75 bucks a month per user. Uh, <clears throat> we started about two years ago. I used to run the corporate VC M&A of Fonecta here in Finland. And we now have customers from 14 different countries. Uh, and the assets under management range between less than a million to more than a billion from CVCs, M&A, private equity and family offices. We are a team of six, and today I'm here to sell you two things. Zaplow, the platform, I want you to use it. And as a company, we are also launching our next investment round by the end of this year. And uh, of course, we are a B2B SaaS team of six. Our addressable market is about 200 million. I've been a CFO four times in a startup, so if you want to add the hype factor, you can add a zero if you like for AI or whatever. But this is uh, all a bottom-up approach. Yes, we have competition. Happy to discuss that. And uh, like I said, we're looking for half a million at this point. But more importantly, I want you as our customers. If you want to have a look at Zaflow, the product in action, go have a look at zaflow.com video and drop me an email. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments? A quick, a quick questions. So I could see a CRM in there, maybe some governance and reporting stuff. What about, I mean, communication, I'm sure, as well. But what about outbound then communication? I mean, what, what is really yes. included here? In addition to Zaflow, you are going to need a piece of software for fund, uh, sorry, fund accounting. We don't do that. You are going to need a communication tool, email, phone, Slack, whatever. We integrate with all of that. And uh, we will not do your tax filings or anything like that. We are more than a CRM. You could call us ERP, even though I hate the word, but still, we, that's what we do. A couple of questions for you. Uh, you said that you'd be willing to talk about your competition. So can you please talk about your competition? And the second one, you said that you have already clients in a lot of countries. Can you please tell us about the business model and how much revenue are you doing? Yes, so uh, we are a SaaS company, so our customer pay, uh, customers pay us 75 bucks per user per month on an annual plan. That's it. Of course, we have some additional services like custom reports and analyst services there, but that's a separate thing. And in terms of competition, uh, depending what customer segment or which process segment you are looking at, there are three main categories of competitors. There are or alternatives. There are about 30 different, so three zero. And most common ones are Excel, the CRM, or then you have a dedicated tool. But the dedicated tools that you see, they usually cost 10 times more, and they are geared towards the higher end of the spectrum. And uh, depending on the use case, there is a 
we have a very defensible position for all of them, but I'd be happy to discuss, of course, in more detail. And uh, yeah, so 14 different countries last night, we closed our first customer in Mexico, so that makes, makes it 14. Okay, thank you. We have to move on. Thank you so much, and uh, welcome the next guys.